Hello dear students I am Miss Swagatika today we will learn standard 9 geography chapter insulation portion factors affecting the distribution of temperature the following factors are affecting the distribution of temperature number 1 altitude number 2 latitude number 3 distance from the sea number 4 ocean currents and wind let us discuss the first factor latitude temperature decreases with the increases on either side of the equator due to spherical shape of the earth and its annual revolution around the sun the right hand side diagram shows the heat zones of the earth torrid zones are more hotter than frigid zone because torrid zone gets vertical rays of the sun while the frigid zones they get the slanting rays of the sun then left hand side diagram we shows the vertical rays are hotter than slanting ray that's why noon are hotter than early morning and evening because vertical rays it falls in a limited area which gives more heat while the slanting rays it falls in a larger area that gives less heat altitude air is cooler at higher altitude than on either our surface because of the normal lab state what do you mean by normal lab state 1 degree celsius fall in temperature per 166 meters height lower layer of the atmosphere is warmer than upper layer because of terrestrial radiation and presence of more carbon dioxide water vapor and gases they absorb more heat what do you mean by terrestrial radiation during night land masses radiate heat back into the space distance from the sea the influence of the sea breeze which blows from sea to land during the day and land breeze it blows from land to sea during night moderate the temperature at the coastal areas that's why coastal areas get moderate temperature than the interior interior they gets extreme temperature because they unable to get the influence of land breeze and sea breeze slopes of the land an area with a steep slopes experiences a more rapid change in temperature than gentle slope and during winter due to calm and cold winter night temperature may be lower in the valley than the higher of the slope that is known as inversion of temperature what do you mean by inversion of temperature increase temperature with increase in height next wind and ocean currents the land mass gets heated and cool fast than the water mass the warm water from the equator it flows towards the pole or vice versa the warm north atlantic drift makes the port of bergen in norway remains ice free during winter while the northeast coast of canada at the same latitude remains frozen by the influence of the cold labrador currents so winds and ocean currents also influence the climate i hope you people clear about this portion well prepare it thank you and have a good day